Hi, Hiram here. Going to do another video down here in my new little, uh, what do you want, studio. Uh, like I said in the last video, it's getting way too hot in the garage for me to do videos. Too hot, in fact, that it's shutting off the camera and I can't keep it running. So I think I cleared off one of my programming tables, and I think what I'll do is videos that don't inv involve flames, I'll do down here. What I have today is another unboxing. I get a lot of people asking me to do these. I don't know, I guess they like to live vicariously through other people. <laughs> but whatever. Uh, I have another, what I call a copper coil alcohol stove. Uh, another name for them, I think, is pit torch. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. You've seen me do videos in the past on these. One is the handy camper stove. That's this. It's a gasoline stove. Has a copper coil right there. Uh, I'll leave links to the videos that I did on these. And another one is this, what they call a wickless stove. Although it does have a wick inside the copper coil. I'll leave a link for the video I did on this too. What this stove is was a really interesting looking stove that I saw on eBay. It comes from uh, Andrews, Texas by a guy there that makes these. Wow, really packed in here. Comes with a, wow, that's heavy duty, a heavy duty screen. I guess it goes this way move that stuff out of the way comes with a huh, a fuel bottle now I got this for a really really good price after I bought this I won't even I won't even mention the price that I paid because it was so low uh, he has other ones up for sale on eBay but they're like 50 60 dollars it might be worth it I'm not sure but uh, nobody knew what they were bidding on here, and I got this really cheap. Wow, lots of paper. And here's the <laughs> stove. Much bigger than I thought it was going to be. Came with a couple of extra wicks. These wicks are inside the coil. Interesting. So this is an alcohol stove, unlike the camper, the handy camper. This one uses gasoline. Wow. This makes this whole body part, it, this whole base rather, is the tank for the alcohol. Just a little thumb wheel here. Stick the alcohol in. Now, some of the information that this guy gave, now it's been used, he tested them, but some of this seems to be like a real alcohol hog. Uh, what did it say? It burns for approximately six minutes for every ounce of denatured alcohol, and it holds approximately eight ounces of fuel. Oh, I see. This is a wind stand and a pot stand. You can put your pot on top here have to be a mighty large pot, but then it's a mighty large stove, too. You put your alcohol in here, screw this back on, just like so. Let it soak in, because you've got to soak the alcohol up into the coil, and you won't be able to see it on this, but there's a couple of small jets that shoot up, heat this part up, which then makes the jet shoot even more. Cool. Not, ex <laughs> not exactly a Graham Weenie item. This would be more like for some sort of an emergency or something. But it was just too curious a stove for me to pass it up. But again, I'll leave links for um, the other ones. that He has different configurations of this too. Some larger, smaller. I don't know if there's any larger, but he's got some smaller ones. Uh... But I'll leave links for the website, the eBay for this. I'll leave links for the other videos that I did on these copper coil 
type stoves. Again, this is gasoline, and this one is alcohol. But uh, I probably will be, well, not probably, I will be doing my first test on this outside once it gets a little dark so that we can see what's happening. But I'll put some alcohol in here and let it soak, and then I'll come back with another video on uh, shooting this for the first time, maybe even doing a boil test. So I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions if you've ever used this before. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.